Hi everybody, I'm going to try this again. I was doing a video to make a, um, a drink pocket. That's what I call it. Or a beverage pocket. And um, it shut off on me saying that I needed to delete files to make space. So uh, I've been having a hard time with my Samsung lately. So this is the drink pocket you know, that I came up with. I was watching another girl called Lyric Lover on YouTube. I believe it was her. And I absolutely loved her little ideas with her drink packets. But hers were made with those business type of envelopes. And now I can't find them. I don't know what I did with them. I was trying to show you before what they uh, kind of look like. Um... But she did them with envelopes, and she had went to Michael's and bought these long envelopes, maybe about yay long, whatever. And um, she was able to cut them. Here they are. She was able to cut them. Now, I tried it, but I had business envelopes at home because I really didn't have the money to go out. And I colored them, and I didn't kind of necessarily like the way they came out so I was fiddling with paper now I did a few of them see these are the ones that will hold an apple cider you know an apple cider pa packet or a cocoa packet with a spoon or you know with a candy cane I don't have that stuff right now to show you but um and I made this one um, which, uh, I didn't necessarily, I wasn't happy with all of these because, um, to me, they just kept getting dirtier and dirtier around the edges. If you see, if you see what I'm talking about, it just, I just wasn't happy with the envelopes that I was using. And so I figured, you know what, I'm going to try and make them with the paper I have. I have this this pack of paper um, that I got for a dollar at Walmart and it is six inches wide by eight inches long so we're gonna make in a separate video a cocoa packet with fall pictures on the front right now we're gonna do Halloween this is the cocoa packet okay and I went out and I did get at the beginning of the month um, apple cider packets it's instant apple cider and um, I guess people love that I've never tried it and I did go and get hot cocoa with marshmallows so I can make treats for people at my church and um, I wanted to follow her, her uh, example but I did want a sturdier kind of, this is much sturdier um, than the envelopes. They, they, it's like if they fall over, things fall out on me. I don't, I didn't like it. She was ingenious the way she did it and the way she um, invented those, but, or saw them on somebody else's, but I didn't like um, using the envelopes. They were too loose for me. So, I like the tighter paper. You know, this is kind of sturdier and it's um, stiffer. So, I like the way these turn out. So, we're going to make Halloween for the apple cider tonight. And then we'll do a hot cocoa packet later on for like Christmas and fall. Okay? I don't want to necessarily squeeze all these... Um, things into one video I want to keep putting up videos so here's the Halloween things I'm going to be using the Halloween images this paper came from a AC hall AC Moore hall and I'm glad I went out to AC Moore this was a dollar twenty and this um, I'm using on the back of the project for Halloween and this was a dollar ninety nine and they were on clearance, but one of them got a 30% off or something. I don't know what happened there. 
So I, cho I chose a piece of paper out of the Halloween pack. And I like the little pumpkins. And I think that if I use really scary stuff, you know, if kids are uh, watching me, I don't want to scare them. I want to use cutesy kind of stuff. And then I use this pattern. I'm going to be using this pattern out of the black and white uh, package. Out of the black and white it's paper pad. It's called monochrome, monochrome paper pack. So I figured because the pumpkins are round, I kind of wanted to use a round pattern to match the back, almost matching. So put those aside. I'm going to be using Happy Halloween. And then I'm probably going to use this stencil for the front of it to be able to base you know, to frame some stuff in, like the pumpkins and whatnot. And then I have this this black, black sheer ribbon that I like using for this project. Um, I got that at the Dollar Tree. So, I measured down 8 inches. Hey, stop blurrying. There we go. Focus. I measured down eight inches. Now I'm going to leave that in there and I'm not going to edit that out because crafters have mistakes and their cameras make mistakes. So we're going to just allow that to stay in there. I figured out how to fix it when it gets a mistake. So I'm going to trim. So back to the subject of trimming. I'm going to trim my paper to eight inches long and then we're going to trim the paper to four and a half inches wide so I'm going to go to this mark over here it's a four and a half inch mark okay and I'm going to trim up now I did a four inch one and it didn't really work it was way too tight so I'm not going to do the four inch. I'm doing four and a half inches across. Okay. So now, um, where's my example I had? Oh boy, I think I lost it now. So now in my example, I fold it up to about here. And then I folded a lip on it. So you're going to see... I'm going to get the trimmer out of the way again. I don't really have a lot of space on this table. So then you're going to see, I'm going to fold to about here. You see that? Right here. I don't want to go all the way because when you make your pocket, you're going to want the back to be able to support the stuff you're going to put in the pocket. So um, I'm going to take my end of my scissors and I'm going to burnish the crease or press this crease make it crispy so you have now you have a crease now I'm going to take this top lip I'm going to measure half an inch down and just with my finger I'm going to bend the paper up as I bend the paper I'm going to take my ruler and make sure it's straight across. Go down to the crease I made and bend it over for my lip. So now I'm going to have a border to be able to put another piece of paper on there. It's going to be cute, watch. And your ribbon goes across there too. So, now that we've done that, like I said before in the other video, I'm going to use Aileen's Tacky Glue. Now, it is upside down because that's the way I store it. But you're supposed to store it this way, but I don't like it when it dries in the cap. And then I'm going to, and I'm also going to use my two-sided tape. It's called um, Ad Tech crafter's tape. So I'm going to, to make this pocket, we're going to unfold it 
and go to the very edges, the very edges, and mark down, okay? Roll down. Then we're going to put a little bit of Aileen's glue, just the tiniest bit. See how that line is so very skinny? You don't want to have a lot because you need the room in the pocket to place your stuff in. Now we're just going to press it down. Now this lip that we made is sitting up. See that? We want it to go down. So we're going to do the same thing with the double-sided tape. I put two swipes on there. And to make sure it stays, I'm going to put one swipe of Alien Glue. Or one line down. That's all right. See that? Now we're just going to press it down. And the glue will spread out under there. But also, the reason I use this is for it to grab immediately. And I use this to keep it grabbing. Because this tape sometimes let go in projects. I like the tape. And it helps you keep your projects together while you're creating. So, I'm going to put this aside for it to dry. And we're going to get to the papers. So, we said this was four and a half across. The back is... Almost four and a half down. So... I'm going to go four by four to make it easy on me. Make, just make this paper four by four. Okay. I'm going to go down four. Right here. Make me a mark. And over four. Make me a mark here. Hopefully I can see it. And I'm going to trim it out with my trimmer. Um, first I'm going to do the last mark I made. Save this because this is going to go on the um, front lip. Now I am going to cut off the other part. Now this is too short to use for the lip. See that? This is not. You can cut this down. All right. So this will be the back. See that? How it fits there? That'll be the back. And you got a little orange border. Actually, I kind of want to go... Um, I'm going to take another quarter inch off because it doesn't show as much orange as I would like. Now it will. See that? I love the black and orange. It's kind of pretty. So, kind of pretty. It is pretty. So, <laughs> so anyways, um, now the front. I'm going to measure the front, okay? I need two pieces for the front of the pumpkins, okay? So this is confusing for me sometimes. But what I'm going to do is this is one and a half, almost one and a half inches down to the lip. So I'm going to do a one inch wide strip by... This is four and a half inches by a four inch strip. And both will be four inches wide. Okay. I don't know if you can see me. And I had to reposition my camera and everything. I'm sorry. So I'm going to make one inch down.
by four inches wide, I said, right? Yeah, four inches wide. But I'm going to cut it at four inches wide all the way down because the other piece is four inches wide as well. But I only need a piece at two inches. So I'm going to cut another two inches here. So I've made my marks. It's all going to get cut down four inches. Watch. I'm going to do the width first. I'm starting not to be so confused <laughs> when I'm measuring now because I'm doing it more often. I usually would go by eyeballs. So that is that. I don't need this piece that I just cut, but save it for another project. You can make a bookmarker out of it or whatever. You can make a tag, um, some kind of candy topper for, you know, a snack bag. See how this fits? See how it fits? There you go. And I got to find my other mark. It's very hard to see on black, but the lead does show up. And there we go. We have that cut. So now we're going to cut a piece for the lip. So what are we going to cut? The lip is... Where is my phone? Oh. The lip is three quarters of an inch long. So I'm going to go a half an inch wide, long or wide or whatever you want to call it. Ooh, I got glue on my finger and it did not look good. I'm just going to go just above the line above quarter of an inch because you know what? I want it to look pretty good. Then we're going to cut it and then we're going to cut it at four inches wide. Okay. Four inches long or wide. Burp. However you want to say it. I'm doing four inches. There you go. So I have all my pieces we can start putting on the top. Okay, and this should go pretty quick. So on the back, on the front, we're going to do the front first. We're going to put all the pieces on the front. Now, I was thinking I have cute little scissors. They're edgers. And they have like teeth in them so that they can make zigzags. So I'm going to do that with my project. Because usually Halloween is kind of like um it's kind of like raggedy time, right? You wear rags to wear our costumes. So I used to wear rags to wear costumes. I used to always dress as a bum the first time and a clown the second time I went out. I went out twice for Halloween. It was cool in my neighborhood. I grew up around a lake. And I loved it. Because the neighborhood was quite small. Actually, walking it wasn't small. And walking it twice was not small. But um, it was doable. And I got lots and lots of candy. My brother used to have a picnic basket he used to fill when he went out three times. I wasn't allowed to. And uh, he was, he didn't kind of like, he didn't kind of like share his candy. I had to take it. I was a naughty little girl. 
So I'm just cutting off the edges and making them ragged, jagged, ragged, whatever you want to say. I like doing it because it's it makes it kind of more quaint, more down to earth. So there you go for that one. And then the little one we're going to do very, very close to the edge. You know, just trim them all out. And, um, yeah. You know, I thought since, since I had deleted the videos off of my Samsung X8, S8, it didn't save my videos as files, but apparently it did. So I had to stop what I was doing with the Halloween um, video and I had to restart because I had to delete those videos. It saved into files. And I'm like, I deleted these people. So I don't know how, how they make these um, things to save your stuff. I mean, if I delete something, I don't want it in the phone. And I don't want it in the files. So technology is kind of weird to me. But anyways, whoops, that one went crooked. Last edge. You can see what I'm doing, right? I keep checking. I have it on selfie so I can watch um, if it goes blurry or not. Of course, I'm not on selfie. I don't want to be. So anyways, we're going to decorate the front with the decorating papers, the decorative paper. And look how cute that is, that it's... Come on. Let's see? So we're just going to put it on and we're going to use the tacky glue because we're putting something bulky in it. So that tacky glue will hold on to it better than the crafting. I like the crafting glue, but that's mainly for doing like photo albums and stuff like that. Oops, I didn't put it on there. Oh, well. I'm not going to tear it off because it'll tear the paper and just won't look as nice. But I am going to put some glue on this piece. This is just for the video anyway. So I put a little glue on this piece. That's going to go on the lip here. And it's not going to look as stark as you as it does now because it's going to have the see-through ribbon, the sheer ribbon over it. So don't worry about that. See how cute it's starting to look? It is really cute. Last time I caught my saying, myself saying adorable so many times in my video. Ah, oh, I ripped it. See, I ripped that. But I think that if I get it on there very, very carefully, I think I can press that back in. You can't tell it ripped. See? I can't tell it ripped. So, there's the front. Here's the pocket. You'll see when we put that in. So now we have the back. And the back really needs, and I didn't put the glue on the back either. Darn. All right, so we're going to put the tape on the back. Ooh, it's sticky. I mean, this tape is real sticky, but for projects like this, it doesn't, it won't stay as long. I like it. Shake, 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 shake your glue up. Shake your glue up. I'm sorry. It just reminded me, me shaking my glue. Say you don't need much of the glue. Say 
Stop blurring. Ugh. So we're going to put this on the back. Actually, we're going to take it right back off because, and I sh didn't want to do that, I'm going to run a piece of tape. Up, see where this is? I'm going to run a piece of tape along the back where that is. And that, my dear friends, is for the ribbon. I'm going to lay it across the tape. It's going to be a pretty long piece of ribbon. Go quick because the glue is drying. And so, um, you see this ribbon? Just lay it across where you put the glue. Press it in. <sighs> I love how things stick to me. <laughs> and then put the paper over the ribbon. Burnish the paper down as much as you can because I had to take it back up. So it's going to give me a problem. So there you go. Turn it around. And you're going to tie it right around the front. Can you see what I'm doing? Because no, because it keeps moving. So you're going to tie it right around here. Actually, I'm going to put a dot of tape here. Right there. See the dot of tape? I know, I throw things when I'm kind of in a tizzy. So we're going to go right over the dot of tape after we have crisscrossed the ribbon to make a bow. Okay? Actually, I'm not going to tie a bow because this... This is supposed to be Halloween. So we're just going to tie a knot. And keep pressing it. Keep pressing into that tape. Because the more you press it into the tape, the more the tape will come up through the mesh. Yeah, make me into a liar. Okay, we're going to do make more tape. And we're going to press it again. It didn't want to um, stay. So, I'm going to cut these off at an angle. They're going to be very short. Cut them at an angle. And then we're going to decorate the front. So I have these stickers that say Happy Halloween. And then I have this shape. Okay. I can put Happy Halloween in the shape. So I am going to cut another piece of paper. Mm. I think I messed myself up. Here we are. So here's another piece of paper. Well, actually, I don't think I can do that with this shape because it's going to cover the whole paper. So forgive me. We're not going to use the shape and we're not going to use the, uh, we can use the paper. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick out happy a happy and a Halloween. So I kind of like this one. So I'm going to do that. And I'm going to line these guys up on the paper. I'm going to do it with a little bit of AT with a little bit of the double sided tape. Because these stickers aren't stickable. They're not really sticky. I'm going to put happy, and you'll see what I do. We're going to cut this out, and then I'm taking Halloween, see 
see that? I want the tape on here because I want it to permanently stay. And then we're going to put Halloween over here. So now we're going to cut these out and they're going to be bordered in orange. Right now it's a rough cut. And then I'm going to cut pretty close to the words. But it will be bordered in orange. See? Make sure you try to cut straight, even though this is Halloween, so... See that? How cute that is? So that will go down here. And I'm going to do the same thing with the happy. My scissors like going off that way when I cut. And I don't understand why they do that. I struggle to keep them straight, and I think maybe it's me, the way and the angle I cut. So we have happy. So we're going to put happy up here. See this? We're going to put happy up here and Halloween down here. But we're going to probably off-center them because I have a few little stickers that I do want to use. Where are my other Halloween stickers? Oh boy. Um, okay, we'll just use these that I have for now. I kind of did want to put a little kitty cat on there, but I can't find, oh, here they are, I'm sorry. We're going to, I don't know, I want to use these. These are adorable, so I want to use these. So I might use this kitty and this witch. So, we'll see. We also have the pumpkins. So I'm actually going to put the tape, um, the double-sided tape on here, and some glue, again, with the glue. Tiny smidgen. And I am going to put it at an angle. See, I put this at an angle. I'm sorry if I put that in your way. I'm not doing too good. And I'm also going to put Halloween at the same angle. And that was foolish to use the tape after the glue so we're going to put both of these at an angle can you see now i think that that is pretty cute so i said the witch and the kitty i'm going to put the witch up here and then the kitty down here I am going to make sure it has plenty of adherent on it. So I'm going to lift it up, lift up the packet, and put the witch here. She's hanging off, and it's sticky, so I'm going to have to get rid of, I'm going to have to cut it off. But that's adorable. Here I go with the adorables again. And then the kitty. I want to put. I want to put the kitty over here. Um, my phone just shut off again, and I'm getting pretty aggravated with it. So I don't know what I have for uh, clips to put up on YouTube. Now you have a cute little drink packet that you could slip. 
your apple cider vinegar. Actually, you're going to make sure that the shake the drink and make sure it's flat because this is quite tough. Okay? And open it up and slip the drink inside. Look how cute that is. And I actually have a spoon that does have a bow in it. So I'm going to put that with that. But you can put a cinnamon stick in there with it. Or if you have a cocoa packet, put a peppermint stick in there and whatnot. I'm sorry if this is going to be only a minute long. I'm not very happy about that. I'm not very happy that my Samsung shut off at the very end of this. So, um, there's something that's got to be done about this. Um, I could make another, like a cocoa packet, but not right now. Okay? So, if you like my channel, please hit subscribe. If you want to comment, comment right below. If you, um, if you want, if you want notifications, hit the bell um, when I put new videos up. And keep creating with love. Come and join us on Creating with Love on Facebook and enjoy the videos as I keep putting them up on Creating with Love Crafting YouTube. God bless you all. Have a nice night.